Race four then is the Red Rum Handicap Chase, a Grade Three handicap. Over just over two miles, well, just dead on two miles to be honest. And at the top we've got Alfon Hideaway for Craig Allen, Cash's Queen David Hooney, Lucina Stalina for Craig Beckwith, Mandrake Root Martin, then Fresno Shadrach, Vinnie Gerard, Flockton Green. Darren Thompson, Weary Willy, Kevin Minahan, Asavir Junior, David Robertson, Houston Battle, Vinnie Gerard, Dazed Ballet Dancer, Darren Thompson, Lord Gale, Martin Lidham, Sean Tilly Lace, Kevin Minahan, the Ranting Aunt for Graham Clutterbuck, Great Debate, Leon Van Rensburg, and Casban Trip for Alex Cherry. Away they go in. Starting on the bend. And then driven into the lead is Lucina Stalina. One wants to lead into the first, stood off it but got over it nicely enough and they're all safely over the first this time with Lucina Stalina getting into that obligatory four length lead. From Great Debate on the outside second, and Asavia Juna is in third. Andre Root down on the inside in the stripes is next as they get over the second and they're all safely over the second with Lucina Stalina's lead now up to a good six. From in second place, Lord Gale, who'd be an appropriate winner in those red room silks as they get to the third. And also, for that Mandrake route, made a mistake back in fourth. And the pace is pretty hot. And Lucina Stalina is the one that's setting it from Lord Gale in second, Flockton Green is third, and then Chantilly Lace is fourth as they come to the fence. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And they're all safely over that one with Dave's ballet dancer struggling and out of shot at the back. Which makes you realise they are going pretty quick. There's a Craig Allen and a Darren Thompson out the back. Uh, Lucinia Stalinia, or Lucinia Stalina, is in the lead by six to Lordale second, Mandrake Root third, then come the Gavin Meanham pair, Weary Willie and Chantilly Lace. Fred No Shadrack is after that one with Flockton Green on the outside. Cash is Queen going up the inside. Asavia Jr. appears to have disappeared. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. That was a couple of disappearing horses last week, but I was checking up there. It's supposed to be somewhere between Cash's Queen and Fresno Shadrach, and I, I don't know about you, but I can't see it. So I'm going to keep an eye on that one, so to speak. And it's Lucinia Stalina in the lead from Lord Gale. went right through the top of it. Mandrake Root jumped it better and jumped into second. But Lucinia Stalina is in the lead. As they get to the sixth, and that time it was Mandrake Root's turn to take a dive at it. And now Asavia Jr., the invisible horse, is apparently in second from <laughs> Weary Willie as they get over the seventh. And goodness knows what's going on now. Lucinia Stalina in the lead. Asavia Jr. somewhere between that one and Flockton Green in a cloak of invisibility. Then comes Lord Gale. Weary Willie's after that one. Then Kazman Trip and Chantilly Lace. Over the eighth they go. And over that one, it's Asavia Jr. apparently is in front from Flockton Green. And Lucinia Stalina. Then Kazman Trip. Weary Willie. Lord Gale. Trying to run on again. They've still got three and a half furlongs to go. There's only one invisible horse, and Lucinia Stalinia has overtaken it. It's Lucinia Stalinia over the third last jumps here. Well, gets away from it well as well. Casban Trip moves into second. Then comes Weary Willie Flockton Green, Lord Gow, Chantilly Lace, Asavia Jr. still in there somewhere. They're coming down towards the second last, and it's Lucinia Stalina over it in the lead from Flockton Green. There's a fall of there. Chantilly Lace has gone. Lucinia Stalina is in the lead. Flockton Green is second. Then Asavia Jr. Weary Willie. Willie is next, but it's Lucinia Stalina. Looks like she's only got to jump the last for a pillar to post victory in the red rum. Unless Asavia Jr., invisible horse, is closer than we think. Over the final fence they go. Lucinia Stalina is in the lead. Where's Asavia Jr.? Goodness only knows. We're watching this as they come towards the line. Lucinia Stalina, I think. Asavia Jr. was probably second. Remarkable race there, and goodness knows how the race really didn't notice but oh, I don't know maybe they don't watch it while they're doing it oh, I really don't know but anyway Lucinia Stalina has won it for Craig Beckwith the invisible Asavia Juna for David Robertson was second Weary Willie for Kevin Minahan was third Houston Battle for Vinnie Gerard fourth and Flockton Green for Darren Thompson was fifth let's hope that doesn't happen in the National tomorrow otherwise goodness knows what it'll be like there you go that's the second time then in two weeks we've had an invisible horse in the closing stages, but this time it got beaten to 